My name is Caitlin Hegney and I'm a Scottish artist designer maker. I make jewellery and I make decorative objects. I graduated from the Glasgow School of Art in 2018 and now I work from my home studio. I design and I make in 2D and 3D. I work on paper so it's always a continual conversation between 2D and 3D making. One of the main processes that I use is an ancient process which is called chasing and it involves a rhythmic hammering action to make a little impression into a metal surface. I also find rhythmic markings in reclaimed wood that I collect locally. Um, I use a stain to dye the surface of the wood to enhance the patterns within the natural grain. And these little elements I almost create patchworks. Um, and collage them together to make my wearable pieces. And a lot of my work is blue. Um, I use the colour blue because I have a complete fascination with it. It's one of those colours that sort of draws you in after it. You're sort of never finished looking at the colour blue. The, the colour blue at one point was more expensive to buy than gold itself because it was created from the stone lapis lazuli and it was ground down um, and crushed by hand. To me this idea that a colour can carry value in a material that's otherwise not precious really interested me. The metal forms that I use in my jewellery are, are all pretty basic shapes really. I personally find curves quite comforting. They're much more of a shape that you want to hold. It's got this connection to the past. A lot of my inspirations come from ancient stone carvings and you see a lot of curves and round shapes in there. But I'm interested in how these markings build up to create something bigger or rather than just as the individual mark. I think I'm drawn to making repetitive markings because I find it really relaxing. You just sort of get lost in your own head really and, and you begin to think less about what you're doing um, and it's it's just about the process of making it. You know, it, it kind of becomes second nature once you get started. Today we're going to use reclaimed wood to make a piece of jewellery. So the things you're going to need are some paint ideally acrylic, a little tray to put your paint in, a brush, maybe some pens, pencils and some string and cord. You'll have to start by taking your once a daily trip to visit your local beach or woodland or even just to take a little walk around your garden or down your street to see what wood you can find. This could be sticks or it could even be larger bits of wood. Try looking for wood with a smooth surface and see if you can pick out different patterns in the natural green. So when you get back home, you'll want to lay out your new collection of found materials to see what different shapes fit together really well. I am choosing to coat some of my pieces of wood with paint. You'll need to leave these to the side to dry, but in the meantime, you could start seeing what patterns you could draw onto your wood um, with collected tools from around the home. I've used a washing peg and a Kirby grip to apply patterns to the wood with paint. Alternatively, you can draw directly onto the wood using pens and pencils. Maybe your painted wood is dry now, so you could return to that. I'm using a pointed tool, in this case a big nail, but you could use anything, even like a fork would work. All I'm doing is scraping away the paint to reveal the wood underneath and building up a rhythmic pattern as I go. If you want your design to last a little bit longer, you could varnish it. You could use household varnish or even a clear nail varnish. To finish, you might want to turn your wooden elements into a wearable design. 
Using the string, you can knot around the pieces of wood to attach them. Think about all the different ways that you could attach the wood together. I'm also thinking about it against the scale of the body, um, whether I want it to sit low or high as a necklace. Maybe your piece is even just a decorative object off of the body, you might just want to simply hang it on the wall. So that's a few different ideas of how to make a decorative object out of collected materials. I would say that jewellery um, is more than just for being worn. Um, it's, a, it's an object that you can carry about with you all day. So it's almost like having a, a piece of artwork that's more personal to you, it doesn't just need to hang on a wall. It might relate to something from your past or it might be more like an amulet, like a little symbol for luck or something like that. Or it might just tell the, the story of you and something you've made um, as, a, as a person.